the following figure shows strength of percentage change in cellularity of so here a graph is given to us showing the cellularity against the time mentioned in years so here you can see as per the various curves demonstrated here you can see that the cellularity gradually shows decrease with aging in case of various organs such as tibia femur rib sternum and vertebra so this change in cellularity is seen in which portion of these bones and the various options given to us are bone marrow osteoblast of bones osteoclast of bones and fibroblast of the bones so bone marrow we have to know that it is going to uh, lodge the various hematopoietic stem cells hematopoietic stem cells for the production of blood cells and osteoblast of the bones and also osteoclast of the bones have a role in remodeling of the bone and fibroblast will have a role in collagen deposition which is nothing but the bone matrix so among the given four options a change in cellularity as depicted in the graph is seen in which portion of the bone so here you have to understand by looking into the graph that the cellularity will drop to zero at approximately 20 years as shown in this x axis in case of tibia okay the tibia shows zero percent cellularity after 20 years of age whereas in case of femur it shows a feeble amount of cells up to the elderly up to the older age group in case of femur whereas in case of rib sternum and vertebra there is a decrease in cellularity but it is not reaching up to zero so this is the information that we can get by looking into this graph so now we have to note that the 20 years of age is going to act as a critical point here that is below 20 years tibia is going to have the cellularity whereas after 20 years even the femur is going to have a feeble amount of cells whereas the remaining cells also show decrease in cellularity so here you have to understand that bone marrow which is involved in the hematopoiesis will show some decrease will show such decrease in the production of blood cells with aging when it comes to osteoblast and osteoclast it means that both are involved in remodeling so the bones have to survive throughout life due to the remodeling of the bone that is taking place that is the pairing between osteoblast and osteoclast therefore the production of osteoblast will be paired in such a way that it is produced prior to the action or production of the osteoclast of the bones so therefore they both are paired and they are important for remodeling of the bones therefore they will not show such decrease up to zero percent as shown in the graph and when it comes to fibroblast of the bone it is nothing but it is going to deposit collagen forming the bone matrix therefore bone matrix is again an important component of the bone so therefore it is also not going to show a greater decrease in the cellularity as shown here when uh, so out of the given four options you can consider bone marrow because hematopoietic stem cells or the hematopoiesis will decrease in the bones and that is because the erythropoiesis or the hematopoiesis the hematopoietic stem cells will include production of rbcs wbcs and also platelets so here you have to understand that the production or the hematopoiesis usually takes place in the red bone marrow that is in case of fetal life the Erythropoiesis will take place in various organs, just mesoderm of yolk sac followed by liver and spleen and then red marrow, bone marrow. Whereas in newborns as well as in growing children and adults, you can find the production of blood cells will be restricted to the bone marrow. So up to age of 20 years, okay, up to 20 years of age, the hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow is going to be actively involved in the production of blood cells whereas after 20 years of age you have to know that this red bone marrow gets converted or they gets replaced by fat resulting in formation of yellow bone marrow so this yellow marrow is not capable of hematopoiesis so therefore after 20 years of age not all the bones are going to have the red bone marrow and not all the bones are going to be involved in the production of blood cells so rather it is only specific bones in which the erythropoiesis will occur and they are nothing but the ends of long bones such as humerus and femur you can observe and similarly you can find it in vertebrae you can find it in sternum you can find it in rib and even skull bones 
So only in these bones you can observe the production of blood cells taking place after the age of 20 years. In case if the bone marrow is destroyed or affected or diseased, in such case the liver and spleen will act as alternative sites for production of the blood cells. So therefore we have to understand that as depicted in the graph, after 20 years of age you can see a drastic decrease or change in the cellularity in various bones and here you can see in case of tibia the cellularity goes to 0 percent because the red bone marrow is completely replaced by the yellow marrow therefore production of blood cells are not going to take place in such bones whereas in the ends of long bones such as humerus and femur so femur is given here you can find some uh, red bone marrow that is being present in these bones and because of which the cellularity is being retained till the older age and then the hematopoiesis is being taking place in the red bone marrow which is present in the ends of the long bones and apart from that the various other membranous bones such as vertebrae, rib sternum are also going to be involved in the hematopoiesis and erythropoiesis after the age of 20 years. So therefore, this graph is typically the graph demonstrating the change in cellularity of the bone marrow. In specific, it is the change in cellularity of the red bone marrow because after a particular age, the red bone marrow gets replaced by the fatty yellow marrow and that is what is depicted in this picture. So now getting into the content, you can see that normally 75% of the cells in the bone marrow will be WBCs. Okay, producing myeloid series, especially the granulocytes. Only 25% are the maturing RBCs. Therefore, the RBCs and WBCs, though the RBC count is high in the blood, it is only 25% in the bone marrow, whereas 75% of the cells are WBCs, which is seen in the bone marrow. This is because of the change in the lifespan. Okay, because the RBC, the lifespan is going to be 120 days, there is no need for constant production of RBCs whereas WBCs will have a very short lifespan with hours to days and therefore more production of WBCs will be seen in bone marrow. So that is an important point you have to observe here and therefore here you can see this is the graph depicting the changes in the red bone marrow cellularity in various bones such as tibia, femur, rib, sternum and vertebra with age. Therefore, the right answer here in the question is bone marrow. It depicts the change in cellularity of the bone marrow of various bones with age.